All right, in this video, we're gonna look at the uh, way you can get real crazy with complex animations on this photo slideshow with smooth transitions. I just posted this video probably 20 minutes ago, and what I, de what I decided to do now is come back and show you uh, just ways you can modify the complex animation to get even cooler effects. Uh, zooming, or scaling rather, rotations, and uh, changing your offsets. As you can see over here, this thing is, all these photos are doing different pieces. So I'm gonna show that to you real quick. It can get real involved on getting this stuff to work correctly in your complex animations. And assuming you've watched this video here to get the idea across, please watch this one first before you dive into this video. But uh, like the first shape, the first thing I have animating, in the previous video I talked about the way you want to do things in terms of percentages based on how many pictures you have. Again, watch all of that in the video. But I've added some new pieces into the first picture. I want it to rotate in. So uh, as, I, as I have it fading in, I also have it rotating 360 degrees. Then I want to maintain that same rotation through this part of the animation. And then I want it to rotate back around to the beginning uh, as I fade out. And so now what we have going on is we have a fade and a rotation it stays visible and then it's going to fade out and rotate as it completes this first 25 percent of the animation in our second shape under its animation i'm going to go to complex animation and now let's check out the entries we have here what i have here are no fades i just have this thing scaling so uh, at zero percent at the beginning of the entire animation the scale is going to be set to zero scale x y that means it's going to be completely tiny uh, so what I can do at 25%, since this is my second picture, I want this occurring for 25% to 50%. So 25% of the animation is still teeny tiny, but for that next little uh, 5% from, or not not 5%, I changed it to 10 now. So I was mentioning this in the other video too, how you can change the percentages in between here. So from 25% to 35%, I want to scale in. It's gonna stay that way, and then it's gonna scale back out. That's what these numbers mean. It's gonna scale in, it's gonna stay at that same scale, and then it's gonna scale back out. Zero means it's completely tiny, and when you change your scale X, Y to one, that's gonna be one as in the original size. So notice I have no fading or transparency going on in this one. This is another effect that you can give to your photo slideshow. On to the third shape for its complex animation. What do I have going on here? transparencies and then what I have going on here is I have it fading in and it's also okay at 50% this is my third picture so it's 50 to 75% so at 50% I have it uh, to the left I think it is X offset negative 300 it's going to be to the left and it's going to be completely transparent over the next 10 percent it's going to slide in x offset zero that means it's going to put it in its original position so it's going from negative 300 to zero and it's also going to fade in with that transparency it's going to remain that way from 60 to 65 percent and then from 65 percent to 75 percent it's going to go uh, fade out and it's also going to slide to the right because notice the X offset is at zero then it's going to slide off to the right it's important to set these things in here like I, you may notice I had the same thing twice that is very important if you want it to stay stationary for a certain amount of time basically from 60 to 65 it's doing nothing that's what's going to make it pause so you can actually see the photo and then last but not least, the fourth picture we have here. I have this one going crazy. I have it doing kind of all three pieces. So as you can see here, we have 17 entries in this thing, but this is the last photo, 75% to 100%. And basically I'm incorporating the transparency. I'm doing a rotation, I'm doing a scale, but instead of me going left to right, I think I'm going up to down. Uh, while I've set at negative 300, if I'm not mistaken, that is going to be coming in from the top moving to the center or its original location while offset zero, I have it remaining the same from 85% to 90%, as you can see, nothing's really changing there. And then from 90 to 100, this is when I have it sliding down, the Y offset going from zero to 300, that's gonna make it go down. It's going to fade out. The transparency is going from zero to 100. The rotation, uh, I mentioned this, you know, and I think in the second 
animation or the second photo maybe, but I did mention this earlier in the video. And then I also had that scale thing. So it's gonna scale from its original size to teeny tiny. And technically I didn't really need to do that, but uh, you can use transparencies and scales all together. So, you know, all this stuff combined, you can really get crazy with your complex animations. And now with this photo slideshow that we can have smooth transitions in KLWP. And there you have it. That's how you can uh, tweak your photo slideshow to have it do different effects as the photos animate in and animate out. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.